Okay, so one of the most frequent questions I get is, what is the difference between composite veneers and porcelain veneers? So let me go through the pros and cons of each option and when I would use that. So let me start with composite veneers. So there are some big advantages to composite veneers. Uh, composite veneers can be done in one appointment. That's an advantage. I think the big advantage is cost. They only cost about half as much as a porcelain veneer. So if cost is the biggest issue, they can be, uh, they can be a good option. Um, the third thing is composite veneers, and this is actually how they're marketed. You'll hear people who do a lot of composite veneers market them this way. Composite veneers are typically placed right over the top of your teeth without reshaping your teeth at all, right? So that seems like a good thing. However, that has consequences as well, because when you, when you do veneers that way, and, and honestly, porcelain veneers can be done the same way. We call it a no prep veneer where we don't touch the teeth at all. The consequences of that technique is your teeth end up bulky. So the, what we call embrasures, the gaps between your teeth are big, deep embrasures are more likely to catch food. The edge of your tooth, what we call the incisal edge, so the very edge of your tooth ends up about twice as thick. So a lot of people can feel that with your tongue and to a lot of people that is not a good situation. Some people do okay with it, but a lot of people it bothers them to have the edge of their tooth be twice as thick. So those are some of the disadvantages. Another disadvantage is they're a little bit temporary. They're not going to last forever. They're going to lose their they're going to lose some of that shine in the first 6 months and then typically they can they continue to lose a little bit of shine over time. Uh, they're also a little bit prone to staining and chipping. They're not as strong as porcelain veneers. So in that sense, they're a little bit temporary. If they lose their shine, you can see your dentist again and have him polish them to get that shine back. And sometimes the stain around the composite veneers can be buffed out as well. Uh, however, for the most part, uh, composite veneers are gonna last you somewhere from three to seven years, whereas a porcelain veneer uh, is gonna last you a minimum of 15, but often can last much, much longer. Uh, we have veneers in our practice that are as old as 30 years old, and some of them still look really great. So with porcelain veneers, some of the pros and cons. So the big disadvantage with porcelain veneers is cost. They cost twice as much as composite veneers. The advantages are uh, they, they look much nicer. They have a, a nicer shine to them. They typically have a lot more natural characteristic in them, which makes them look really, really pretty. Uh, porcelain veneers are going to last much, much longer. Uh, you don't have to come back in and have porcelain veneers polished and shined at you know, two or three years, they are going to feel like your, your natural teeth. They're not going to be thick and bulky. Um, so they, they really are a very, very nice option that are going to last you 15 to 30 years. So I think one big, one big thing to consider if you're leaning, if you're trying to decide between porcelain veneers or composite veneers, they're both permanent. They're both very, very permanent. So if you're thinking that you want to go the composite veneer route because it's less permanent, that's actually not true. Both, both options are permanent. The way that the composite veneers are bonded onto your tooth, there's no way to go back to as if you never had it done. So that's really important to keep in mind. Both options are very permanent.